What up with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy John Mike uh, and today I'm going to show you something really really cool uh, that I actually use on a regular basis because I use multiple DAWs like at any given day I'm using Studio One, Logic, Ableton, Pro Tools all in the same day all working on maybe even one sp specific track because it depends on what the workflow is. It depends on my mixing and my mastering. Am I recording? Am I just doing production? Do I need this sound? Do I need that sound? Uh, and so that that causes me to bounce around a lot of different DAWs to get the job done because it's all about you know uh, what what sound or whatever I need, what workflow I need. So uh, it, with that being the case, a lot of times I run into the situation where there's a sound uh, that I need uh, that's in one DAW uh, that I want to use in another DAW. Uh, in this particular case, there's a sound in Studio One that I want to use inside of Logic. Now, um, I could, you know, do the traditional bounce this out to a two track or MP3 or whatever wave, then drop it into Studio One, record the part that I want, that one sound that I need, record the part, then bounce that stem out and then drop it into this session to finish or whatever or I could just add it in post after I finish the production here then I get ready to mix you know it's just different ways that you can do it that are just a little bit more complicated but the quickest and simplest way is to record from one DAW to another directly using Soundflower uh, so I'm gonna show you how I do that and how I accomplish that so over here in studio one I have this sound that I want to use <laughs> One of my favorite sounds called Noisy Sign. I lose, use it on a lot of my tracks. Um, so I have this sound and I want to use it on this particular track that I'm working on in Logic. I want to use that. So um, what I'm going to do is go over here to um, Studio One and in preferences, audio preferences, audio setup. Uh, I'm going to make the playback device Soundflower. Uh, I'm using 64 channel, but you can use 2 channel. I'm using 64 channel for purposes of this recording this video, so I don't get any feedback loops. Um, but sit Soundflower is what you want to make your output device, whether you know in any DAW, Cubase, Pro Tools, whatever. Make the output device wherever the audio is going out. Uh, Soundflower, all right, and in the DAWs that you're trying to record into, you're going to go into your preferences, uh, your audio preferences, and you're going to make the input device Soundflower, and we'll make it Soundflower 64 because that's what we're using. Uh, boom, blah blah blah. Now, what I can do is go here to um, add another track and just input one, two. That's what I'm going to use. Uh, of course, with 64, you got 64 different channels. That's uh, something that you can use. You know, if you got multiple channels and multiple things you want to record, that's really cool. So, audio, create that, and boom. Now, when I hit record and in input, now I got my sound in there, and I can easily just jump in here and go. You know what I'm saying, and record that sound uh, inside of um, inside of this song, inside of Logic. Now, the, the 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 drawback to it is you're working with audio, so you don't really get to edit your MIDI. Now, uh, you can double record maybe if you want to if you want to catch the MIDI as well to be able to tweak it. Um, you can double record inside your other DAW, so you can start recording here and then go over here and you know do some stuff like that if you just want to have the MIDI available, or you can do some complex stuff with external instruments that I really don't have time to go into in this particular video. But that is the straight ahead, straightforward way to do it: how to record from one DAW to another, and instead of doing the whole "let me bounce this out of here, drop it in here, bounce it out of there, drop it back in here" type situation type workflow hope this helped you hope this helped you guys you know solve that problem hope to solve the problem for you guys do me a favor hit the like button the share button the subscribe button if you're not a part of the family turn on that little notification bell so you get notified when i drop new videos and we'll talk to you guys on the next one i'm out
holla at your boy.